All right, so uh, here's the second video in this series. Uh, now, this is the video we're going to cover um, decimal to binary conversion. So we covered binary to decimal, and now we're going to go the opposite way. We'll we're be given a decimal number and converting it to binary. A little bit different process. Uh, it's still not that hard, just takes a little practice, so let's get started. Okay, so here we go again. So um, same place settings as before. We got eight bits uh, of uh, a binary place settings. Uh, of course, we know it goes on forever, right? Never stops, so um, it just we're going to stay with just eight bits because of the uh, bytes. We like bytes a lot in the class. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a decimal number and we're going to convert it to binary. Again, a little different process. So uh, I'm going to just pick a random number. So I'm just going to put let's see, let's do um, I'm just going to pick 68. I just picked it randomly. I just thought of it right now, right? So the process for this, and uh, so again, we're going to use the full eight bit of um, uh, including leading zeros. Again, normally you would need the leading leading zeros in the real world. Uh, the binary numbers would be just expressed in you know, um, not, you wouldn't need any of the leading zeros uh, in, in normal world. But we're going to include them today because uh, again, we're looking at bytes. So how this starts is you find. Um, a number in the place setting that is as close to the number you want to convert as possible, right? Without going over. So, so I'm going to start on the left. So, six, 120 is bigger than 68. So, I'm going to put a zero here, right? So, 64 is as close as we get without going over. So, we're going to put a one there, and we're going to subtract 64 from 68. And obviously, we're going to get four left over, right? And then we keep on going down till we get all the way to the ones place. So, of course. 32 is too big, 16 is too big, 8 is too big, so we take a 4, right, and then we subtract 0, and so obviously that's where we stop, so we put zeros in the other place settings, so to express 68 in binary, of course, if you do the whole 8 bits, it would be this number here, but if you didn't use the leading zeros, it would be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this would be the uh, binary equivalent of 68 in decimal. So um, again, just two ways of expressing a quantity and uh, with two different numbering systems. They both mean the exact same quantity, right? So if I were to draw 68 circles, I could either say, hey, I've just drawn one zero 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 one zero zero circles, or I can just say 68. So there you go. Pretty, pretty easy process. So let's uh, keep on going. Um, let's do a couple others and that way we can see how this all works. So let's go ahead and we'll do another one. And uh, let's go ahead and do, how about um, 57, 57, okay, so we'll do 57. So easy enough, so again, 120 is too big, 64 is too big here, so 32 is where we're going to start, we're going to start at 32, so we're going to subtract that, so obviously that's a 5, right, and then this one is 2, 25, so 16 is too big, so now we're down, oops, sorry, I should put a 0 though, sorry, 16 is too big. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 16 is not too big, what am I thinking? So we'll do 16. I, I th my, my brain said no, but my hand said yes. So 16, uh, so I'm going to do 16 minus, 25 minus 16. So we're going to have to borrow there. So uh, that's uh, um, 9, right? So that'd be 9. Um, and then 0, so we're at 9 now. So here we go. I'm going to move the 9 up here because I'm running out of space. I should have started out on the bottom. So um, we need an 8, right? So now we're down to 1. So 0, 0, 1. So again, if we do all eight bits, this would be 57 expressed in binary. If we went to the, if we got rid of the leading zeros, it would be one 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 zero zero one would be the same as decimal 57. Uh, so again, uh, we know this is right a couple of ways. One is um, this place, the ones place is set, and we do have an odd number. So um, very cool. So do a couple more, and then uh, you'll see it's not very hard. Um, again, we're only doing eight bits. Um, if you were having to do a larger number, then of course we have to move over to um, a few more place settings. But we're going to keep it eight bits only because that's where we want to keep it. All right. So let's do another one real quick. Let's do let's use red this time again. So let's go ahead and let's go with a pretty big number, about one ninety nine. So um, we'll start it. We'll start right here. So we'll do one ninety nine. All right, one ninety nine. So here we go. So um, 128, obviously we're going to start with the 128, all right? So, whoop, oh, excuse me, 8. So we, that'd be 1, right? That'd be a 7 and a 0. So now we're at 71. I'm going to move the 71 right here. 
Um, so now, actually, let me move it a little bit over so I can have some space. 71. And um, so now 64, right? So 64, right? So 64. So we're going to have to do a little um, borrowing here. So 71 minus 64, right? So um, so we're going to borrow, put a 6 here. So that would be 7, right? And then so now... Um, so that now we have a zero because 32 is too big, 16 is too big, 8 is too big, so we have 4, right? So I'm going to do 4 right here. Um, so that means 3. I'll put a 3 here, so we get, why did I put a 4 there? Sorry, everybody. It's supposed to be a 1 there. So now we're to 2. I know you're saying, Johnny, we know where this is going. Just get with it. There we go. 0. So if I erase all this mess down here, let me erase all this real quick because this is all in the way. I need a bigger screen. Oh, I should write smaller. So here we go. This is the expression of that number, right? So um, 199. So 111, 1100111 is the same equivalent as 199 in decimal. Okay. So again, uh, not hard. Just takes a little practice. Um, and that way you can convert binary numbers. Now, if someone gives you a number, a lot of times you don't have this nice chart in front of you. Um, but again, it's nothing wrong with just writing that chart out and, and doing it. Uh, uh, and don't make it hard on yourself. And uh, calculators, I don't have any problem with calculators. So, but in, on the test, if you take the Network Plus or the, uh, the Cisco CCNAs, you won't have access to a calculator. So it's really important that you can do this without a, a calculator. Okay, so let's go over some examples. So I'm going to hit this real quick. So now we want to convert um, um, our decimal to binary. So we'll do it all together here. So again, 172, so we're going to convert that. So I'll put it right here, 172. I'll try to write smaller, right? So 172, and then we're going to go ahead, and of course, 8 is as close as we get without going over. So 172 minus 128 is 44. I've got a calculator in hand, so don't, don't think I'm su super genius. Trust me, I'm, I'm using a calculator right now. So if you're wondering, I'm doing this with a calculator. Um, so that's 44. So 64 is too big. So let's take 32. I think I can do this one without a calculator, right? So that's 2 and 1. So that's cool. So I'm going to put a 31. A 32, excuse me. 16 is too big, so we'll go with 8, right? So that's 4. So we already know where this is going, right? So there we go. So the number 172 would be the same equivalent to 10100100. And I have them kind of set up. So bing bada bing, I'm right. <laughs> well, I hope so. I had a calculator in my hand. Anyway, so again, um, pretty straightforward. Um, that uh, just take the number closest without going over, and that's where we're going to start. So here we go, another one. So 51. So we'll do 51, right? So let's go ahead and we'll start right off the bat by knowing that we these are too big. So 51, right? So we'll do 32. So we'll start at 32. So 51 minus 32, right? Excuse me. 50, one more time. I got a calculator in my hand. 51. A minus 32 equals 19, right? So that's going to be 19. So we can take the 16. So it gets kind of easier now, right? So that is 3. So we know that it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. A couple things. This was an odd number. So we have that place setting there set. So if it's going to be odd, the 1's place has to be set to a 1, right? And so let's see if we're right. And we are right, right? All right, cool. So far, so good. So let's do a few more, and then uh, we'll be finished with this video. Well, actually, we have one more thing to cover. So, so here we go. One sixty-eight, right? So, um, so here we go. One sixty-eight. We'll do this in blue today. So here we go. So one sixty-eight. I'll put up here. So we're going to start with the one twenty-eight, right? So I can do this kind of easy. So we know that's going to be a zero, and that's going to be a four. So we're there. So this is too big, right? So now we've got um, the ones place, the 32. So I can do this without my calculator. I'm not great at this, but I'm not too bad. So we're going, that's going to be uh, 8, right, and 0. So that's cool. So this is too big. So now we're, we're right on it. So 8, that's going to be 0. So we know the rest are all going to be zeros. Again, an even number. So there better not be a 1 in the ones place. And if I hit the next key, right, and we are right. So very cool. So far, so good. So here we go. Um, let's do the next one. I'll do about four of them. 192. So this one actually is easy because we talked about this earlier. 
there's two. Um, so um, we know that. Um, so we'll just do it the hard way, real quick. But that's one, you know, real quick. One twenty, one ninety two, right? So one ninety two minus one twenty eight. So one ninety two minus one twenty eight, right? Is sixty four. So that's sixty four, right? So that's that. And then we know that's it. So we had talked about this one earlier. Remember the shortcut. So if you add these two together, it's one ninety two. If you add these two together, it's 96. And if you add these two together, it is 48. So, so it's important to remember those kind of combinations, right? 192, um, um, 96, and um, this would be 40, 48, um, excuse me. So cool. And let's do one more, and then we'll be finished with this. And here's the answer, of course. So let's do 10, that's an easy one, 10, right? So that'd be uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8 plus 2, where I come from is 10, and that should be it. All right, so that is converting binary numbers, or uh, uh, yes, binary number, decimal numbers to binary, another very important skill. And uh, so we're going to have one part more of this video is um, I want to show you how to count backwards in binary. So hold on for that real quick, and uh, we'll do that next. Okay, so... Um, the last part of the video is um, t um, being able to count backwards in the 8-bit um, place settings that I have on the board. Um, so a uh, very important uh, skill. I know it sounds crazy, but just uh, hold on tight. If you take my NetOps class or really um, any, any type of networking class, it's important to be able to do this. Um, and you'll see at the very end why this is important. So, okay, so here we go. We have our normal place settings, right? The, the one... One's place, two, four, eight, all those are we've been covering the last few minutes. And all we're going to do is start adding going this way, right? We're going to start adding up these numbers going this way. And of course, at the end, we should end with all ones, right, in the place settings, which we already kind of discussed earlier. That'd be, if you add all these together, it comes up to 255, right? It's an odd number because we have that place setting set, right? So this, again, this skill is extremely important to be able to do. So... So we're going to get started. So here we go for the first one. Obviously, it's just one one bit placed in the uh, eighth bit, so that's going to be a one twenty eight. So that's pretty easy. That's a no brainer. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add one twenty eight and sixty four together. Now we've already talked about this one, um, so we know that whenever you add, we have those two do uh, these two place settings set one one twenty eight plus sixty four, it will give you one ninety two, right? And then the next place setting, right? So we're going to add another place setting here. So we're going to add um, the um, 128, 64, and 32 together, and that, if you add those three numbers together, you will get 224, right? So 224, so very cool. Again, just, we're, we're walking this bit backwards, as I always call it, walking that bit backwards. And uh, so let's do the next one. So now we're at the um, 16th bit. So we're going to add 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16. So we're right there so far. So 240. So again, if you add all those four place settings, so um, that's the number you get. 240 is the number. Let's keep on going. At the next one, we're adding the eighth place setting, right? So now we're right here. And if you add all that up, you will get 248, which is a no-brainer because 240 plus 8, right? It was right here. It was 240. And if you add 8 to it, you get 248. That's pretty easy math where I come from, even for me because I'm not that good at doing math. Um, so very cool. Then I'll walk it one more time. Now we have the fourth, the four bit uh, included. So obviously it's going to be 252 because again, we're just adding four to 248. And then now we're going to add the two, which I mean, that's a no brainer. 252 plus two is going to be 254. And then the very last one, obviously the answer, we've already discussed it, but when you have all bits set, if you add all these numbers together, you get 255, right? So why, why is 255 such an important number? Because we see a lot in, well, here's a question. What does this look like, right? Uh, so it looks like a subnet mask number, which we use it a lot for our standard uh, subnet masks, especially the the um, the classful boundaries, right? So remember, there's what we call classful IP addresses, um, and there's going to be the A, the B, and the C boundaries, right? And the A mask would be two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. The B the B uh, Classful mask would be 255.255.0.0. .0 .0. 
And the last one would be 255.255.255.0. And so that would be A, B, and C classful masks. So you see these uh, a lot. And so whenever you see a mask, right, especially like 255.255.255.0, um, this would be a lot of ones, right? This would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the rest would be all zeros. So this is a very important number, but being able to count backwards uh, in an 8-bit scenario like this with a, with this, again, we call these octets, right? These octets uh, is extremely important skill. So, so that's the end of this video, converting um, decimal numbers to binary and also uh, how to count backwards in a single byte scenario. Um, so make sure you practice this, uh, making sure anyway, so that you can come, uh, convert these numbers and uh, that way you have to think about it too much, uh, especially if you're taking the exam. So, all right, so stay tuned for a little quiz and then uh, our next video, um, look out for it. So, all right.